Today I'm with ZSL, the Zoological Society of London, as they carry out their annual census of seals on the Thames. Now unfortunately, the best way to do that is by using one of these. Hello Thea. Hi Andy. Hi there, come on in. Thank you sir. Thea, I see a map of the Thames estuary here. Is that what we're hoping to go today? Yeah, so Andy's going to take us up over the Thames, over the sandbanks and the coastline, and we're going to check out how many seals we can see. Now, Andy, I understand you've been flying this part of the world for 20 years. And in that 20 years, you've seen the seals the whole time? Yeah, I have. I think it came as a surprise to everybody that there were so many in the estuary. But of course, you live around here. Do you think most of the population know about the seals on their doorstep? Most people do not know there's any seals out there at all. And of course, the $64,000 question, Will we see some today? Previously, when doing these kinds of surveys, we've seen good numbers, and we're doing this survey at the right time of year. So, fingers crossed, we'll see plenty today. Let's go and spot some seals. We head out to Margate Sands looking for grey and harbour seals. Oh, that's Margate Sands over there, so it's what is one of the one is next to it. It's not long before we spot our first group of seals. I think I can see some seals on the end of this bit here anyway. Right on that bend there, there's, um, there's maybe about ten seals. Wonderful. Real variation in colour as well. Thea takes pictures of the seals to analyse later. And I'm using a GPS unit to help identify where each group is found. What's your waypoint? Waypoint 224. I counted 19 seals there. They all look like harbour seals. This is cutting edge conservation work on seals, and it doesn't really get much more exciting than this. The seals are coming up again. I would say about 70. There were juvenile seals as well there, some pups there. Back on the ground, and Thea is already analysing the results. After each survey, we take all the photos and we go through them all, identify the species for each bank or point on the coastline, and we come together to ensure that if there's any discrepancy between number or species ID, um, then we work that out together and make sure that we've got as close to an accurate count as we possibly can. What more can you tell from just that picture alone? We look at each individual seal and we look for features that indicate what the species is. So for a harbour seal, for example, generally you'd see um, the eyes on the front of the head and a shorter snout, whereas for a grey seal you'd see, usually like they call it a Roman nose, so it's sloping, the eyes further back and to the side. And that's a harbour seal, much more dog-like with funny little nostrils <laughs> and angle as the, well. Yeah, the since ZSL began monitoring the seals six years ago, numbers have doubled, with an estimated 3,500 of them living in the Thames. We take the increase in seals that we're seeing as a positive sign of the health of the ecosystem. We should be very proud of the Thames. It's incredibly biodiverse. It is full of life. It's not just brown. Underneath there is plenty of fish and all sorts of other exciting species. What's particularly exciting is the harbour seals are actually breeding in the Thames estuary. Last year, ZSL carried out their first ever pup count. We recorded 138 pups, which is great news. There was a survey back in 2011 by the Sea Mammal Research Unit and they recorded in the region of 40 pups. So that does suggest an increase. It's strong evidence that obviously the Thames is a breeding site for these animals. The river has come a long way from 60 years ago, when it was declared biologically dead. London, and the Thames at Wandsworth, illustrates a quaint facet of the river pollution. It seems a nationwide demand for clean rivers is the only hope. We're much more careful about what goes into our river, so sewage treatment works as an example of that. And we really have come a long way, that's why we see all this life, but that's not to say we don't still have some way to go to keep maintaining this trajectory of a healthier Thames. The cleaner water is providing fish for the seals, which are now being spotted across the capital. How far are we seeing seals moving up the Thames? 
So we're seeing them go all the way up until the tidal limit in Teddington. So they're travelling all through central London and there are kind of hot spots around London where people see them and they are generally where you get a higher footfall or you have taller buildings. So Canary Wharf is known for a bit of a hot spot for spotting seals. And people are having interactions with them as well. Yeah, there are some interesting videos that have uh, popped up of them climbing aboard the front of a kayak or um, a canoe. We don't know necessarily where this behaviour comes from, but they're curious and inquisitive and highly intelligent animals. But it's not just seals that are turning up in the Thames. There have been recent reports of harbour porpoise, dolphins and even seahorses as well. But perhaps most astonishingly, in 2018, Benny turned up the first ever beluga whale in British waters was found just down there. The whale, nicknamed Benny the Beluga, living in a stretch of the Thames, may be able to survive there, according to experts. Our very own wildlife cameraman, Russell Savory, was lucky enough to capture these shots of the beluga cruise ships, the bulk carriers and things were going up and down the Thames and this beluga just bobbing around there. Obviously fishing, I guess, but to be able to get a beluga in the Thames, it's just unreal. While undoubtedly the best way to sense the seals is from the air, if you want to get up close and personal, you're going to need another form of transport. I want a boat. never used to see them, but uh, over the last 10 years they've started off from about six seals and now they've just gradually got more and more seals around the coast. Where we go, six seals are now 120. Stuart Barnes runs seal tours on his boat along the Thames estuary. Hopefully I can get you in uh, with the region of about 10 to 15 metres. Yeah, let's go do it. Ten minutes from Ramsgate Harbour and a magical sight awaits us. These are all harbour seals, getting the most wonderful views. The thing that I'm amazed by is the colour variation. Some are black, some are grey, some are blonde, some are ginger, some are variegated and spotted all over. And there's a few youngsters that were obviously born maybe five, six, seven weeks ago, just on the water's edge. It just goes to show the Greater Thames Estuary is in pretty good nick. We won't know the results from this year's seal survey for a few months, but from what we've seen, the population here is thriving, and so is the Mother Thames.